Hey everyone, welcome to your weekly reading. I am a day late. This will be for August 6th through the 11th, 2024. As I said, the 11th, it was 11 seconds on the clock. If you've been seeing 11, 11 a lot, this will definitely resonate for you. There's a message here for you. I normally did not see that number often, but as of late, I have been seeing it so much. Right before we get into this reading, I would just like to say I have never started any type of like GoFundMe. I know you guys um, have donated to my Cash App and PayPal and to the channel um, when you were able. And that has been so huge. And I appreciate each and every one of you throughout these past few years. Seriously, bless each and every one of you. Um, my daughter is starting high school. She's going into ninth grade and one, one, one on the clock, new beginnings, very exciting new beginnings, um, expensive new beginnings because she needs a homecoming dress. So anyways, to keep a long story short, I actually started a GoFundMe, not for like a crazy amount, but just an... I'm not, only if you have it, please don't go out of your way to donate if you cannot at this time. Okay, you guys? 144 on the timer as I looked up. Shout out to the chosen. But seriously, only if you're able. I have the my uh, GoFundMe link to contribute to my daughter's homecoming, her first homecoming dress. Since this will be her first homecoming dance in high school and um, also some back to school shopping needs. So that will be in the description box below or if you just would like to send me a cash app, that works too. Anyways, let's get into your weekly reading. Thank you, Libra. I love you, Libra land, always from the bottom of my heart chakra. 222. Two, two. You guys have stuck beside me. We've stuck together through a lot. Let's go. As we approach this 8-8 portal, the solar plexus is so significant. Protect your chakras. Protect your solar plexus. The door to spirit is open for you. Look how that blue just pops out of that card with that blue crystal. Oh my gosh, this is so good. What's at the bottom? Oh, our angel. The angel of balance. There's something about the pyramids lining up with this lion's gate. I'm not for sure exactly, you know, but um, 333 three, three on the timer there's definitely obviously some type of planetary portal opening and significance here there's something about the pyramids aligning with stargates is what i'm hearing you got the sauce you know your sauce libra okay so this week you're looking like you've got the sauce, Libra. People may be wanting to copy or steal that sauce. What's new? Let's see what this solar plexus um, and door to spirit would like to tell us, though. First and foremost, the door to spirit is open for you, Libra, and protect your solar plexus. Psychic boundaries are important. Psychic protection is very important, especially around this portal time. Someone could be 37. The powerful Archangel Camuel is holding a beautiful spear of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of the, your third chakra and the center 
of your life force energy. The issues here resolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. That's so significant. It's, you know, it's whether you have energy to go about your business or not, to go about your life. You know what I mean? It, to me, it's like huge, huge, very important chakra. I mean, they're all important, but... When this card appears, it indicates an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now. So go for it. And with 32, someone could be 32. The door to spirit is open for you. This door opens into the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity, the source of all true value and power. This door opens onto truly unlimited potential. For the changes that happen here, reach deep into the core of your being. As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and a deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence, or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity. Also, I'm being prompted to read it in reverse. If you find yourself feeling an extreme disconnect, or if you feel like your intuition is failing and you can't maintain those peaceful moments you are longing for, you may be too distracted by worldly matters or personal problems to arrive at and enjoy the deeper sense of your spiritual connection. The paradox is that the more you can let go of the drama, distractions, or intense emotions, the more your spiritual peace will bring you solutions for these issues. So relax and let go. Meditate on your soul self, your higher self that resides in your own heart center. Allow that connection to grow and you'll find that many new doors will open as a result. Your affirmation. I relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power. I live in the peace that my spirit brings and know that the world of spirit supports me. Wow. The entire spirit world supports you, Libra. And they're sending you like this power up, you know, like look at the energy, this energy vortex. It's opening for you. This portal, it's like the door, this part of signifying this portal as well that's open for you and for that to come out with the solar chakra as well that reminds me very much of um, yellow sunflowers august leo season the sun card the solar plexus you know what i mean like this is all confirmation and for the angel of balance at the bottom i forgot about that Hold on, Libra. 48. Someone could be 48. Let's see what this says before we keep moving. And I'll get out the tarot. 
This pr loving presence holds a pitcher of liquid light in front of the pyramids, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. Although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. I'm hearing don't wear yourself out. I know you, some of you are going really hard right now, like me, like you're just <clears throat> trying to play catch up a lot, you know. Whenever you feel yourself getting off center or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her in her intention into your heart center. So we've heard the heart chakra, the heart center now twice in this card and this one. So we have the heart, I feel, chakra coming out along with the solar plexus. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. All right. One more energy oracle card, please, for Libra this week. Thank you. That was quick. Ah, oh, Libra number eight, which is good. Eight, eight. With indecision. Why is indecision here? What does this indecision or these choices have to do with Libra? What is this about? The crown chakra. The seventh chakra. And she holds the Akashic Records. One more card, please. Whoa, that was quick. Okay. Could have to do with someone offering you some type of business opportunity. The world card at the bottom. This could be a long distance, something you have to travel for. Okay. Why is man holding a coin here? Let's ask my channel message cards. Well, I just got the deck open to heavenly blessings, a gift from above. You are loved. Assistance. did come out with an angel hmm I heard angel in disguise just now that's interesting angel in disguise the birds are chirping flying melody sing bird's eye view Some of you are flying somewhere. <clears throat> it's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure you're going to be flying on a plane. You could be flying on the wings of a bird, Libra. It'd have to be a pretty big bird. But, you know, I've seen some crazier things. <laughs> That's wild, though, with the world card. I said, you know, some of you could be, it, it's at a distance. Oh, my gosh. Bingo. You made it on the money. Go have fun. You are rich. You have never even met them. 
Oh, okay. All right, let's get out the tarot now. That's fun, Libra. Have fun, be safe, whoever that's for. Hmm, I, I reached for the light seers and I heard no. So what deck do we wanna use? Okay. We're gonna use the witch lane. Well, look what's at the bottom of that deck. Well, something significant here about the world. The world card, the world energy, obvi, Libra. Let's see what it says in the energy oracle book about the world. <clears throat> 29, someone could be 29. Expansion. The person in this picture is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful sphere of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. Some of you need to get your passports. Yes, I just heard that. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. Now is the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster. So get ready to gobble it up. Confirmation with me bringing this deck out and the world was already at the bottom of the tarot. That's wild. Bingo, <laughs> like, whoa. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, what does Libra need to be aware of this week? Eight, eight portal. What does Libra need to be aware of this week? You got the Six of Swords. The Ten of Wands, but I picked it up in reverse. You have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Tower. So. Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so in this deck, in the tower card, right? That lady with the horns of hair or whatever her horns, she's actually representing the devil card in this deck. And it's like you escaping the devil in this tower card, okay? Ten of Wands reverse, you said it's not my it, it's not my burden to bear, you know? And the something here is really truly not your Yeah, no, I'm not even gonna say what I'll, it's just not your burden to bear, okay? The page of pentacles with the right right rabbit. <laughs> with the white rabbit. Look at that harvest. And you're moving towards this. You're moving towards this energy of leaving your burdens behind 
and moving towards a harvest, a new beginning with the Page of Pentacles, a new start in regards to your money. And it's going to be very fruitful confirmation. And this may be confirmation that this comes about during September, October. Beautiful Libra. Beautiful Libra. There was someone around you. There was... Look at the cheetah. <clears throat> With the seven of swords. There was someone around lying or cheating or deceiving you. With the seven of swords. They only deceived themselves. And now they have to walk around very paranoid. You see how they're, she's watching her back. And here you are. Working with the universe, the universal flow. Pouring from the stars, healing. This is a very divine energy with the star. You were able to take back your power and escape the binds of the devil, okay? Someone that wanted to bring you down either with them in the tower or just they wanted to take you down. They wanted to lie to you, deceive you, cheat you out of something, okay? If this isn't like a relationship, there was maybe some type of finances involved they wanted to cheat you out of. I don't know. But you rose above it. You healed from this situation. You became the star. Wow, with the Seven of Swords and the Star, they really tried to steal your destiny for some of you. They really wanted to steal your destiny. And because you didn't bind yourself with this tower and the devil and the tower card, you escaped. You stepped into your true divine purpose, your true divinity, Libra. That's what I feel. And that's what's coming to light this week. The Six of Cups. With the Four of Wands. Wow. This is a celebration. Look, there's the white owl. <laughs> There's a cute fox. There's a dog. And the little blue bird. Blue bird on my shoulder. Boop, boo doo doo. Bum, ba da 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 da. Ooh! <laughs> Why am I getting that song? Zippity doo da, zippity a. Listen, 
My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading our way. Zippity doo da, zippity hey. There could be some type of past life connection coming in Libra with the four wands. You know what the four wands usually signifies. It can be that 1111 connection, um, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned at the very beginning of this reading. A relationship, a counterpart, sometimes even marriage. Definitely a celebration, though. You know, the Six of Cups could even be you being, like, passed down that secret sauce from the Angel of Balance card. See how she's, like, giving her, like, passing her down this cup, this potion? You're receiving something this week, Libra. Get ready to receive. Get ready to receive after a lot of hard work, a lot of stress. This is something that's gonna help you along your quest, is what I'm hearing along your journey. She almost looks very like, you know, wizardly, witchy, <laughs> like Waverly place. <laughs> well, I don't know why I just heard that, but that's what it's giving. Zippity doodah Libra. You guys, I wanted to keep this under 30 minutes for your weekly reading, and I'm going to go ahead and extend it for the members where we are going to actually get into the spirit box over in the members area for the extended weekly and hopefully get some messages there. And we're also going to pull some spirit animal cards in the extended and a little more, a little more, you know, fun stuff, razzle dazzle to get these messages that spirit wants to deliver to us okay libra um i'm not gonna leave you right this second i'm looking at my cards to see how i do want to leave end off this weekly read and this the extended will be up for both tiers of my members both tiers libra landers and libra loyals we're gonna get a message from the planets using the astrological oracle cards. Okay. Luna and Saturn came out together. Let's see, Libra. Luna and Saturn. Do not fear the dark night of the soul. Light will return to your spirit in good time. Those of you that have been going through it, know that the light is returning. I feel like the light is returning now. Let's get another message from the planets. Especially with your first card being the solar plexus chakra, the sun. 
that's confirmation that the truth is you have been through it. You have been through the dark night of the soul. Saturn, the truth. You have Venus. What would like to come out here with beautiful Venus? What planet would like to come out with Venus? Okay, they want me to put these two back. Shuffle once. Okay, what would like to come out with Venus? One card please, pop out. Thank you. Neptune. All right, let's see here. Venus and Neptune. I'm also, I felt this, Luna at the bottom. I felt like Luna wanted to come out with Venus to be real, and that's why I put Luna and Saturn back in the deck. So I'm gonna read both Venus and Luna and Venus and Neptune, meaning. Venus and Luna, deep peace awaits in the quiet recesses of your spirit. Let go of daily cares and find renewal in simple acts of love. And Venus and Neptune, compassion for others will soften your heart and draw more love to you. This is the source of spiritual bliss. <sighs> Libra, I truly feel like you have some beautiful opportunities um, coming towards you if they have not arrived already get ready to have to you know make some decisions in regards to that and for my members I'll catch you on the other side in the extended stay balanced stay blessed thank you guys so much peace